Hello, bonjour, namaste, satrikal, and hola friends. My name is Amira. We all know how the coronavirus has been going on and we have to stay indoors and it's been a bit boring, but we all know it's very important to stay indoors. So I thought, why not do a fun cooking together? So the ingredients we will need are rice puffs. I use a variety, I use two types. We I use the plain one and also the chocolate one over here. Next we use the vanilla extract, mini marshmallows. You can also use large ones if you want. Honey, mini M&Ms and butter that my mom chopped. We put the chopped butter into the marshmallows and it's got mom's going to set it and my mommy is going to put it in the microwave on high for one minute. Make sure you have adult supervision. Now my mom is stirring the mixture from so it can um, be... Um, now we're going to put it for more now 30 seconds. Now we're going to put seconds. it in the microwave again for more 30 seconds so it can melt properly. Now it is time to add the honey and we are going to put we are going to put half a cup of it so it can so now we're going to start mixing it again for the cook for 30 seconds and then cook it again in the microwave for 30 seconds now it is time to add the melted butter and marshmallows into the rice puff Followed by the M&M's and the vanilla extract. Whoa. Oh, one minute for all of them. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now it's time to mix again. We have to mix it nicely. And we don't want any to escape. It's very soft. If you want, maybe you can, you can also ask a parent for a little help if you struggle in this pot. a bit more. Mmm, really good. We don't want to mix too hardly, otherwise, otherwise these will crush. And we don't want crushed LCMs, do we? Now, my mommy has prepared this baking tray with baking paper, so we just need to put the this, this, the mixture in it. A parent can also help you put this pot. You might want to ask the parent for this pot to help for this pot as well. to spread it you should um, press it down firmly and we don't but not too much we don't want and my mom like that now we can sprinkle some more M&Ms on top when they sprinkle some more chocolate, I mean M&M's on top. I think that's fine. And press again so it sets. Now it's time we refrigerate it for three to four hours. See you when it's
it's ready. Welcome back guys. This has been in the fridge for four hours and now it is fully set. Now it is time to cut it into bars. You can cut it into small bars or big bars, whatever you please. My mom's gonna cut them for me, but make sure that it is straight out of the refrigerator, not room temperature, otherwise it'll start to crumple. We will need a sharp knife, so you will need a parent to help you. These look so good. I'm so excited to try one. But before we can try one, I have a little guest. Come out. Hi, I'm Ayana. My little sister, she has a very big, big sweet tooth. She loves sweets, that means. So, Ayana, are you ready to try one? Yes. Okay, come on. One, two, two three, go. It's so it's freaking crunchy. so good. Mm. Has lots of honey. I love it. Mm -hmm. I taste the M and M's. Pretty good. Uh, I didn't know they were gonna turn out this way. Mm. It tastes better than regular Yeah. Yeah. They're they're mm. both a lot more like um flavorful than the ones that we buy from just the shops mm -hmm. in them. So um, they're really Can I have another good. One? Oh sure. Go on. I'll just have another. Oh, and you can also store this in the fridge for one week in an airtight container. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. thank you for watching. watching. Au revoir. Plus, remember to um, like and subscribe. Subscribe in the link. And if you want the detailed recipe,